What does that mean? Down by. I'm getting the potatoes ready. Very unenthusiastically. I'm very sleepy. I crashed. Yeah, I want to take a nap. And I haven't quite woken up yet. Anyway, what we have today is other than tinfoil and butter, we have steak, nice ribeye, and Jack's favorite marinated chicken. That's Italian dressing. I like salads, but it tastes really good when you marinate the chicken in it. I'm gonna do baked potatoes and corn in the oven. That's an oven. Okay, so Jack is too tired to narrate, but unfortunately, you guys are stuck with me. I guess fortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, fortunately? No. Anyway, <laughs> so potatoes. Those are what's in front of us. Potats. <laughs> they are <laughs> being... See, this is why I'm not I'm so tired of like not making Potats. Sense. <laughs> We smother them in olive oil and salt, and then we also use McCormick's Montreal Steak Seasoning, which is the same seasoning that I put on my steak. steak. And then we cook it for an hour in the oven. At 400 degrees. Well. I'm like trying to degrees. talk and my words aren't clear. And Hippo, what are you doing? She's watching. <laughs> Chad matched up the corn holders <laughs> the wrong way. It's supposed to be like that. But I guess this way is funnier. <laughs> Anyways, the potatoes are halfway done. And then I put some butter on the corn, wrap them in aluminum, and then cook them on the bottom rack for 30 minutes while the potatoes finish. And everything is at 400, oh, almost 400 degrees. My chicken looks very good. Yeah. It's not cooked yet though, is it? Like 10 more degrees. Hippo. <laughs> Observe through the glass. She's a curious dog, and I'm afraid she's gonna smell the grill one day. That's a self correction problem, though. <laughs> oh, I'd rather just avoid it altogether. And his steak is done. I like mine medium rare. I was gonna say, it's the best way to eat a steak, babe. Medium rare, that's the only way to eat it. <laughs> so. The weather in Florida is finally starting to get better. I mean, it's still really hot in the middle of the day, but it's like evening now and I can be out here for a little bit. And like night, two minutes. Better. I've been out here like three minutes. So I'm going inside now. Though. And I'm back inside with Hippo. Both of us happily observing Judd work his grill magic. The corn and potatoes have about 20 more minutes and um, this is actually one of my favorite date night date nights in. So instead of like going out to date night, you stay home and barbecuing is it's just fun. Ooh. How's it looking? Looks good. It smells good. <laughs> it's not for you, hippo. It looks very tasty. And I love our little piggy corn holders. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Judd's great on the grill. And I got the potatoes and corn down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, lay down. Go lay down. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, she came back. I'm gonna lay there like a good dog. Very nice. And uh, Judd's about to empty the butter into his potato. It's very soft butter. You don't get a whole lot per scoop. <laughs> this chicken is delicious. And this is almost gone. <laughs> I'm almost out of food, babe. There's more corn. There's no more you steak. Can have half of my potato. <laughs> There's no more red meat. Okay, I think that was a huge piece. I think you're good. Not good enough. I ate so much. I'm still eating. I'm doing really well. And it tastes very good. Doug, what, what too do you want much. Me to, he wanted me to make mac and cheese too, and I was like, four corns, two potatoes, your steak. Bacon, mac and cheese. 
I think we did fine without it. Did we though? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> she tripped. Puppers. Hippos. Hippos and dippos. We loved hippo. Where's your toy? Standing on it. Ah, ah cause she's standing on you. Mm -hmm. I got it. Well, food has been eaten, dishes have been washed, and now we're gonna watch a movie to finish off the awesomest date night. This is like my favorite date night in, by the way. Did you I, know that? I know that. I know you know that. You say it every time. I know, cause it's true. But with that, we'll say goodbye. And thanks for joining us on our barbecue adventure.